All right, in this next chapter of our uh, tutorials on how to use FileMaker, we're now going to look at a few uh, other features. The first one being auto sizing. So since our database has a fixed width, this feature isn't very important to us, but I'm just going to show it to you at this time. And that is our auto sizing. So I'm going to move our button off to the right and I'm going to take this field which is our contact field and I'm going to apply the auto sizing feature so you can see how it works. So the first thing we have to do is fit the fields to our layout and then we want to take whatever is on the right side and we're going to change uh, how it is pinned. And so right now we are anchoring it to the top and the left side. And what we want to do is change this to top and right side. So now what that's going to do is take this button and always keep it on the right. And then we're going to take this particular field, which is the one we want to resize, and we're going to check both the left side and the right side. So now it's anchored to both sides. And so what that's going to do is resize and reposition those two items so that no matter how big the window is, we'll always have a nice full layout. Okay, so that's a very uh, useful feature when you have layouts that are going to be viewed on different uh, devices. Now let's add some navigation buttons to our contacts layout. So I'm going to go to layout mode and we're going to choose our button tool. And let's look for a navigation icon and we're going to choose single step and we want the go to record request page script step and we're going to choose previous and click OK. Let's make this a little smaller and then let's hold down option or alt and click and drag this and we're going to double click it and change the icon and then we'll change this to next. Let's close that, move it over a little. All right, so now we have two buttons that we can use to go and navigate through our records. And then we want to add a button to create a new record. Let's keep it simple and we'll use a plus sign. And we're going to choose single step. And we're going to choose new record or request. Click OK. Let's resize this. And then let's do the same thing. Hold down Alt or Option to duplicate it. And we're going to add a delete record with dialog. So this is going to confirm before deleting if we actually want to do that. And let's change the icon. OK, and you'll notice that the icons uh, aren't fully visible because of padding. So we have two options. We can either make the icon image smaller by holding by clicking these buttons here, or we can get rid of some of that padding by going to the third tab, the appearance tab, and we'll select our four buttons. And down here under padding, you see on the top and bottom we have a bit of excess, so I'm just going to change this to three. And then our buttons can be viewed more easily. So let's put these to the side. 
great. So now let's go back to browse mode and you'll see that now we have our navigation and we have our buttons. We can create a new record. All right, and we're going to add these to each of our layouts. So let's so let's copy these, and we're going to paste them here. Now we're going to have to move these a little bit. So on this layout, for example, what you could do is move these over. And we can copy these and we'll paste them here. And this is our products layout. And we can also do the same thing in terms of copying our fields. And we go to products. And we can paste these here. And then we'll just need to change these. So this will be product, or we could say ID number. And we'll change this in the inspector back to an edit box. And let's see what other fields we need. And the price, which we already have there, so we can get rid of this and this. We'll move this over. And now let's change these fields because they're still referring back to the orders table. So we double click a field and we can change it to the current table. And we'll do the same for this one. And this one. And we'll rename this to price. And then we're going to resize our body part. We're going to double click body use alternate row and uncheck active row state and then under layout setup we're going to go to the view tab and uncheck form and table and click OK and now if we go to browse mode we have our three layouts and so in each one we can, for example, create a product. And I just realized we need to rename this. Let's rename this. Great. Excellent. Now let's say we wanted to add an image to our contacts. So let's take these and move them over. And we're going to go to File, Manage Database. And we're going to create a new field. And this type is going to be container. And we're going to call this contact image. You can call it whatever you want. Let's click OK. And we could have done it just the same here, by the way, in the field picker. And we're going to drag this over. And we don't need a label. We'll place this right here and let's resize it like so. All right. So now if we go to browse mode, now we have a place where we can put an image. 
and I can right click and choose insert picture and we've got our image which we're inserting here and we can also go back to layout mode and choose this field and we'll bring up our inspector and we can change how the image is viewed and by the way if you want to sample uh, with the data you can go to view show sample data so that you can get a preview of what you're looking at and here under data formatting we can change the image to fit in different ways we're going to change it to reduce or enlarge image to fit all right and now let's go back to browse mode and so now what we want to do is some basic cleanup of this so that it'll look more presentable and it'll look like an actual application so what we'd like to do next is get rid of this extra space and possibly hide this menu above and the toolbar so that it starts to look like an actual application so in order to do that we're gonna have to set up a few things and we're gonna need to create some scripts so we go to scripts script workspace and you can see the previous script from the last tutorial we created we're gonna create a new one and we're gonna call it startup script and the first thing we want to do is go to a certain layout so we're going to go always let's say to the contacts layout which could be the opening layout of our database so the next thing we want to do is adjust the window if we click that and choose resize to fit you'll see what that does in a moment and then we're going to move resize the window and we're going to actually position the window so we use a little calculation to do this and we're going to enter these under distance from top distance from left so here let's just put 20 points from the top and now distance from the left so we're going to click specify and we get our calculation dialog and so what we want to do is create a calculation which will measure the width of the screen divided by 2 which will give us the middle and then we want to measure the width of the window of the application and divide that by 2 and then we want to subtract the middle position from half of the window which is going to put us somewhere here and that's going to center it so it's probably easier if I show it to you so let's choose get screen width divided by 2 minus get window width divided by 2 so let's click OK and we're performing this on the current window because there's only one window open you can have more than one window open in FileMaker. All right, and then what we want to do is we're going to have to show or hide the menu bar before doing this resize. So let's hide it. And then if you were creating this for multiple users that didn't have administrative access, you could also lock it so that they can't change it. and we also want to hide the toolbars but we're not locking anything so let's save this script by pressing command s or control s and so now what we need to do is go to file file options and under script triggers on first window open so when the first window opens we click that we want to run the startup script All right so now let's click OK and let's just perform this script so I'm going to turn on the script debugger again this is only available in FileMaker Pro Advanced this is going to allow us to see how our script works 
So I'm going to activate our startup script. So the first thing it's going to do is go to the contacts layout, which we're already on. And in this case, we don't have a menu bar because that applies to iPads and iPhones. Then we show, hide, toolbars. And then we resize the window. And then we're going to center it in the middle of the screen and 20 pixels from the top. So now we have a really nice database which looks like an actual application. Okay, and you'll notice a little bit of uh, positioning issues with the buttons. I didn't take uh, a lot of care to position them just right, but of course you would do that in your actual application. And you'll notice that on the list view, we have this little uh, indicator which shows the current record and that causes the window to be slightly too big for the viewing area. So we can fix that really quickly by going to layout mode and layout setup. And we uncheck this little box which says show current record indicator in list view. All right, and that should handle the problem. And if it didn't, we might need to just resize our layout a tiny bit. Okay, but we're gonna do the same thing under products. Great, so now we have our database. And if I close this and open our sample database, now we get our nice application ready to use.